left to me. And then I'm half a human. Damn, I want my toes instead so of my heel. Yeah, and yeah, damn it. Yeah, yeah. So just having a look at Zoe's last throw there, um, something that a lot of people do is that, and I'm guilty of this as well when I'm turning and getting three or four in, is when you come around, you don't have to do here or there. So that's cool. We, we call in hammer the catch point is when you get that, back to double support phase. Double support phase, we have two legs on the ground, is when you can push the hammer and really accelerate it. So when Zoe has been throwing, um, and a lot of people become very guilty of it, they catch really late and they end up catching, catching, catching there. And some kids, when they first start, will turn further. So they'll come around and won't catch till there. So essentially, all they have to accelerate the hammer is their arms. We get the shortening and they really push, and you end up seeing them get turned around and have this little delivery like that. The idea of what you really want to focus on is trying to catch it as early as you can, and you'll see some of the really good guys will catch almost at 180 degrees, so zero at the front, 180 right at the back. But what you're trying to do is catch between 180 and 270. So in this segment here is where you want to try and get the foot down and catch the hammer. Um, the idea behind looking to the back is that by keeping your hips and shoulders forward, keeping everything in line, it helps you to get down earlier and it also helps you to try and catch the hammer in that sector. So even if you don't get there, just by muscle memory you're going to be a lot closer than if you catch here. So the idea being step over and catch. If you catch at 180, it gives you so much more time to accelerate. It also helps because it makes it a lot easier to get the high point there. And if you get the high point in the 180, you can bring it back somewhere between the, the 340 to zero mark. If you can get it consistently in that area, you're just going to get the hammer going um, from the front to the back and you're going to throw straight down the sector every single time. Gives you a lot more time, a uh, chance to ramp up the throwing. So if you go a little bit off, you catch a little bit late, you're still going to be some kind of in there. Um, it's just a lot easier and more consistent way to throw. So one of my big tips in hammer is trying to really step over and look down the line. So look at 180 degrees. And then come back to zero. If you can put through two or three of them together, you're going to throw a long way. So that's one tip.